Hi guys, I'm actually using the um, Vivitar camera I got for Christmas. I got it to work. The problem was I needed to format a memory card. I don't know why, because the memory cards were working in the other cameras, but for some reason I had to format it for this one. So I've got the 8GB card in this one, fresh set of batteries. Heartburn from hell at the moment, and I can't find my antacids. Oh, so yeah, that's why there hasn't been much in the way of updates lately, because uh, my camera broke. Yeah, the little black Hitachi one I was using for doing the video blogs and whatnot crapped out on me altogether as well, which wasn't bad going, uh, considering it was um, ooh, four, five years old, and it had a lot of use from, um, you know, not just doing YouTube videos, but photos and I don't know what else. Anyway, that aside, um, I accidentally killed the VHS camera I was using as well. We've got a ghost in here, look at that. Nah, it's just a breeze from the window, that's all. It would be freaking, I bet someone would believe that was a ghost moving that light bulb. Nah, it's just a breeze. Anyway, yeah, the view. I wanted to make the cable longer on my Canon. Or the adapter I was using for the Canon, so I could actually walk around a bit more, but... Uh, for some reason it didn't want to play ball, I don't know if it was something I did or... But anyway, that's no history as well. I've got this one on charge because that works absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> there's no LCD screen on that one. And that's one of the downfalls with this little red one. It's got an LCD flip out screen, but I can't turn it, so when I do this... I don't actually know if I'm in shot because I can't flip the screen round. But um, it does have zoom. It's a slow zoom. See? Very jerky as well. <laughs> uh, but this will do for video blogs and whatnot for the time being, I think. I do have one that I am purchasing, I hope, if I win it, on eBay. It's a Sony Cybershot something or other. <laughs> £18 was the start bid and I was the first bidder. I've got to have something half decent. Uh, where's eBay? I mean I can I could use this for taking still photos because I can do that with this one. And, uh, here it is. Sony hang on I'll let it Sony Cybershot DSC dash W730 16.1 megapixel Digital camera in blue. Eighteen pounds and three pounds postage and packaging. I think it's is it just the camera? There's another one here for nine ninety nine, one bid, but <laughs> well, that's a fourteen point one megapixel. That's the same as my old one that just died. See my old one was basically just one of these but Hitachi brand. Oh, there's a pair there. What are they, spares repairs? Are they spares repairs? Or do they work? Sony DSC S950 Steady Shot, 10.1 megapixel. And a Kodak 9.2 Digital. Think they both was working, but got no charges for them. So selling for parts not working. Thanks. Ooh. Ooh. Postage is a bit steep. I'm going to add it to watch list. Uh, because something like that would actually also do just for taking photos. And if I can get them for like 99p and they both end up working, all the better. I've probably got an adapter or something kicking around here I can use. Anyway, what else have we got down here under similar items? There's a 12.1 megapixel Cybershot. So I see Sony Cybershot and I'm thinking, oh, that's cheaper. Then I realise, oh, 
but it hasn't got as I um, don't know what to call it bigger megapixel greater megapixel I don't friggin know I just know that the more megapixels the better the pictures so I actually have no idea what this thing is to be honest this Vivitar but I have seen cheap Vivitars like this on eBay starting at 99p <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, if I can get these and they both work, I'll use one on the bicycle. Because I don't want to use something expensive on the bicycle if it gets fallen off, if it gets fallen off, if it gets knocked off or it falls off, you know, it's going to get damaged and, yeah. Oh, here's one, nine days. 16.1 megapixel digital camera, black. For repair or spares? What's wrong with it? 99p start price, no reserve, grab a bargain. I'm selling this for the mum who bought the camera from you a year ago. The camera and barrier have seen little use over this time and are like new. However, on recent walking holiday, the camera was under her jacket when climbing a wall and the LCD screen got pressed in. There's no crack to the screen from the outside, but... On the inside, it is clearly cracked. When you turn the camera on, only the top right square is the normal display. The rest is broken, see pics. The rest of this camera is fully working, and it comes with the box, battery charger, leads, and instructions. From my research, you can buy replacement screens on eBay from $4.99 upwards. So for someone who's technically minded, this would make for an easy repair and bargain. Bid in confidence, 100% positive feedback. Any questions, please ask. Let's go to my watch list. Eight times optical zoom, 25 millimeter wide angle. HD movie, 720p. Ooh. Yep, okay. I guess I'm spending what little money I get next week on cameras. But <laughs> at least if I did this. See, I know these cameras, they can be an absolute bastard to get into. So I'm not <laughs> I'm not keen on the idea of repair. Um, but I'll have a go for 99p, if I get it for 99p. I might not get it for 99p, don't worry. I'm doing some work on this. I did try a vlog yesterday, but yeah, it went all the shit anyway. So, and now that the VHS camera fucked up, I can't get the video anyway. Oh, yes I can, because it's on the PC, but nah, this is better. Um, I had issues with the crank. The first crank was fucked. It was warped. The one I took off that barracuda frame. So it just kept knocking the bloody chain off. I haven't tried this one yet. This chain I've got to change, because I've put a shit chain on that as well. Well, it's not shit. Every time I've tried to um, take a link out when I had to change um, the drailia and put the chain back together, it just, it's knackered one of the links. So unless I replace it with a split link, which I can't get in town, not the ones I want anyway, um, I'm just going to go through that box and see if I can find one roughly that length. Or make one up. I should have some somewhere because I've taken them off bikes, but can't find them now. Anyway, um, so this is nearly ready to ride. Found this crank down in the shed. Um, oh, as for the shed, victory came. Victory came out yesterday. Um, well, their contractor did. Um, to fix my door he can't fix it because he can't get the um, broken slider off or a new one on now I'm going to have to do a bit of explaining here um, my shed and the shed next door which is also my neighbour's shed that he puts his motorbike in that whole thing was one big bicycle shelter. It wasn't actually two sheds. And at some point, I believe, before Victory took ownership of the local council's housing stock, because this was owned by our local council, 
North Norfolk District Council. Um, I believe it was converted into two sheds that just had the divider wall built. But they installed the slider door first, well they had to, because right in front of the runner, where the screws are, is the dividing wall. So it's obvious, well it was obvious to me when I found out, because I found out before the um, carpenter turned up, um, and he said the same thing, It was. it's obvious that they uh, put the door up first, then the wall. So whoever designed that was a complete pillock, because now in the future, which it was guaranteed to do at some point in the future, it's broken, it's just worn out. Um, we can't actually replace it. And, uh, sorry about that, I had something in my mouth. So, um, the only way to actually fix it is to put a new door on. One that opens up like your ordinary household door. Hinged. Um, what he was planning to do, obviously he can't do it without Victory's consent, is put a batten on the wall, hinge the door on that, and obviously make a new door up, and have it so it opens all the way and opens back on itself so I can latch it open on, you know, the wall or the wooden wall next door, and uh, fix it that way, which I would actually prefer because that would make the shed a hell of a lot more secure. Um, it's all screwed shut at the moment just to make sure it doesn't wobble over. <laughs> so uh, something's got to be done because if we get strong winds and that get under there that could still take it off. Um, but yeah, of course like I said he's got to go back to um, his bosses who'll have to go back to victory and say look this is the problem. Yes that's bird shit on my sh shirt. Yeah, I've still got the baby pigeon downstairs. Um, I've enclosed the bird table now. And he seems to be a lot more calm. He still doesn't like me picking him up. Because I do like to pick him up, take him out to see if he will fly. Well, the wings are willing. He just can't lift off for some reason. I think that's why I kept finding him on the floor. I think he kept trying to fly. And just ended up sort of just going Duh, on the floor. I still don't understand how he hurt his leg. So yeah, his wings are working. I know he's got some tatty tail feathers. I don't know if that's going to affect it. I don't know if he's got some um, flight feathers missing from his wing. I wouldn't know how to identify them if they stood in front of me. Or laid in front of me, I should say. So I don't know. I'm just going to let him rest. And I think every evening... When it's nice and quiet, I'll go down. He did start to let me pick him up with no fuss. Um, and he actually sat cuddled up against my chest, hence why I've got shit on my shirt. <laughs> but I don't want to bring him up here because of him. Because <laughs> that's just going to spook him out even more. So I figured, why don't I just get some cardboard, because it's sheltered under the trees anyway, so it's not getting very wet under there when it rains. And just board it off, and I've hung an old tea towel down the back, so I've still got access. It's only pinned on with drawing pins, so I just take the pins out, drop the towel down, and I change his water, give him some food, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And uh, I know he's eating, because I've been putting bread on there, because that's all I've got at the moment. And the quantity keeps going down, so I know he's eating. Which is good. Um, he does like to snort at me sometimes as well. well so I don't know if it's a snort or what, I won't call it a hiss either. It just makes this weird sort of soft noise. And sometimes, if he's in a mood, he will slap me with his wings. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> Poor thing. We'll see how he goes. I think if he was going to die of shock, he would have died by now. 
Oh, oh I've got the camera. Oh no, are we still rolling? We are still rolling. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I'd actually miss talking to a camera. Right, hang on. I'm just going to show you over here because I've done the um, blue bike, the mountain bike that I sprayed Sunday. disturb anyone. So yeah, I've done the um, purple shopper there as well. I've just got to find a better bolt in the middle. Where the bolt undoes, where it would have had a quick release handle, so the bike would fold in half, it's missing. So I've been trying to find a bloody bolt to go in there in its place and I've got a temporary one in there but it's not working very well. I really need to get this shithole cleaned up. It's doing my head in. Actually, I've been feeling like doing some work with Lego, and well, I can't because there's too much shit everywhere. But I think I'm done with bike projects, almost my own projects, anyway. I mean, I don't intend to get rid of this one. That is light as hell. That's one of the. That is the lightest dual suspension bike I've ever had. That really is light. Um, oh, I've put a few bits up on eBay as well, trying to make a bit of extra cash. Hopefully in time so I can uh, purchase a few cameras. Uh, what else? I've been having a play around in the bedroom as well. Oh, I've got some bits from um, 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 all sorts of game. This thing included... For a cheap piece of shit, 18 photo camera, it actually looks good. If anything else, it does look nice. <laughs> uh, for about a pound, I don't care. I've got several items from all sorts for six pounds. That was one of them. There's six audio tapes, two Ethernet cards in boxes. Not the right ones in the box, but still. I think they're in the bedroom actually. They've got like a BNC connector on them as well. Yeah, here they are. Chuck them down here. I've got two of these. All in boxes and anti static bags and whatnot, so. Can't complain. Oh, Sunday. I'm hoping to go to. Um, Crime of Carnival's. Um, classic. American and cu or classic custom American car show thingy me Bob. Oh yeah, and I've had to sort out of here just to get a bit more room up here. Got my tape deck, record deck, amplifier. <laughs> uh, it just looks a bit tidier. That's all. I'm sure I'm missing something. Something I forgot. But I got from all sorts. But yeah, it cost me six pounds anyway. So. There was something else I can't remember now. Man, I've got some CDs today, actually, from the Salvation Army this time. Not really... Oh, actually, yeah, I've got this as well. Just because I thought that would be an interesting read. Out of the Katali shop. Yeah, I was going to say I'm not really keen on the Salvation Army because of their view on gays but is it really fair you know to for me to uh, boycott 
a charity just because of that and you know have those that need it miss out it's not really fair is it and so well, I can't remember where them CD or oh, video oh my handlebar tape has arrived for the racer as well that arrived Tuesday right oh yeah I got PC got two PC games I got V Rally not V Rally Conor McRae Rally Close Combat and a class of 96 I need like a mini CD player that's what I could do with <laughs> so I haven't got to keep turning that on or oh, I wonder I wonder if that external CD drive would actually work on that or if the PC will do the same thing if the PC does the same thing when I use or plug this in, then I'll know it's actually um, the PC causing the issue, not this. But uh, we'll see. I haven't even had a shit yet. Mum phoned me about half past seven and I was going to go for a shit before she phoned and uh, that never happened and I still haven't gone. What's the time? That's the bread I'm using to feed Pidgey Boy, or girl. I'm not sure what he is. It's just a bird. Ooh, nearly 11.30. All right, oh, then. Yeah, uh, maybe tomorrow. Mum's on her first long day at work. 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. I've got an errand to run for her, just to get a few bits. Um... So she hasn't got to do as much because she's still got to do shopping after work. Uh, but Sainsbury shuts at nine, and by the time she comes out, they won't have any of her brown bread or anything there. So I'm going to go during the day and get that for her. I think my list says two loaves. I've got a little list. One, two, three, four items: uh, milk. Yeah, two loaves of bread, fabric conditioner, some Daz washing powder, laundry detergent, whatever you prefer to call it. Anyway, I'm going to uh, disappear because I do need to use the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm sort of nipping both cheeks in at the moment. And I've actually noticed when I do some vlogs, especially when I'm sitting down doing a vlog, I tend to do this. And I was watching it on back on video the other day, and I'm like, well, that looks completely bloody stupid. I don't know why I do it. It's just like a habit. You know, my brother's got a habit where he does this with his hair. You know, he's 18, and he still plays with his hair. It's just, and to me, doing this is just a habit. And I don't know, it just looks stupid to me. Maybe it isn't, but maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I've got two parts, or the last two parts of the road bike build to go up as well. Stay tuned for those. I'm actually on a memory stick in the bedroom at the moment. And uh, until next time, see you later.